Welcome back to Teresa's Dead. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. I have an awful garbage, filthy mouth. So if your discretion is advised, but if you're not into that or weird shit in general, this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to exit the video here. No harm, no foul, but I'll remember our time fondly. Y'all. Hello, my little muffins. Um, in today's video, I pretty much turned myself into garbage Barbie. <laughs> We use a lot of drugstore products today. Everything from Maybelline to the new NYX Barbie collection, the L'Oreal Infallible line, and so forth and so on. And listen, I mean, this is fun, but like there were some parts where it got real dicey. So while I transform into garbage Barbie, I also talk about the tale of the TSA pre-check. <laughs> But before we do that, and I get all Andy Rooney, a word from today's sponsor. Thank you, Z-Bionics, for sponsoring today's video. Listen, we've all had those days when after some drinking, the next day, you just want to live in your bed, preferably surrounded by a thousand chicken nuggets, <laughs> a couple of stuffed animals, and you want to watch horrible romantic 90s comedies like Picture Perfect or Mrs. Winterborn, two that are classics, by the way. But you can't. You, you have to get up. You have to deal with the day. And instead of having a rough one, Z-Bionics puts that pep back into your step. Zbiotics Pre-Alcohol Probiotic is the world's first genetically engineered probiotic that was invented by PhD scientists to tackle rough mornings after drinking. So this is how it works. When you drink, alcohol gets converted into a toxic byproduct in the gut. It's this byproduct, not dehydration, that's the blame for your rough next day. Zbiotic produces an enzyme to break this byproduct down. It's designed to work like your liver, but in your gut where you need it the most. Now, if you have been around for some time, then you know that Zbiotics is a necessary step for when I'm filming makeup bingo during the week. I ain't getting any younger, so I don't bounce back like I used to. So I'm thankful for this product because it has become my knight in shining armor. So if you're like me and you partake in an adult libation or two and still wanna to function tomorrow, Zbiotics is the answer for you. And it's also incredibly easy to use. All you have to do is drink a bottle of Zbiotics before you drink alcohol, drink responsibly, and make sure you get a good night's sleep so you can feel your best tomorrow. And it's also great to share as well. So whether it's a bingo, a weekend barbecue, or a wedding that you wish you said no to, <laughs> Zbiotics is perfect for every occasion. Go to zbiotics.com slash Teresa or scan the QR code on the screen right now to get 15% off your first order when you use Teresa15 at checkout. You can also sign up for a subscription using my code so you can stay prepared no matter the time or occasion. Zbiotics is backed with a 100% money back guarantee. So if you are unsatisfied for any reason, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. Remember to head to zbiotics.com slash Teresa and use the code Teresa15 at checkout for 15% off. Thank you again to Zbiotics for sponsoring today's video. Y'all go support the sponsors that support your garbage queen and drink responsibly. That said, let me show you how I turned into Barbie Garbage Glam. Hello, my little jumbo crab cakes. How are you? I'm doing, I could be better. I could be better. Why is that you ask? Because I have dry, dry skin. <laughs> I don't know, today I feel extra dry and it's probably due to my own fault. You know, I do keep my air conditioner down to 45 degrees every day. <laughs> Of course, I'm being hyperbolic. It's really 52. Um, but no, no, seriously, I always keep this house uh, fucking cold uh, to the point where I think if I get it cold enough, I can cryogenically freeze myself, which I mean, you know, nothing's really going on in 2023. <laughs> This is kind of a weird year. I could sleep through it. I could sleep through it. I could wake up in like 2050. I'm okay with that. Anyway, at the rate that I'm going, it's going to be a huge possibility. That said, my skin's dry though. <laughs> and we need to bring life into this dull, dull canvas. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna use a little bit of skincare before we jump into all this makeup. And something I have been trying out for like the past week now is from a brand called Purito. I featured this brand before in guest style videos. They were kind enough to send me this deep sea serum that I have been really, really enjoying lately. And what I like about it is that one, it's super comfortable. So if you have incredibly dry skin like me, you're gonna want something that is just going to drench your skin in just glorious gloriousness that just makes you feel hydrated and just comfortable. I hate when skincare just makes your skin feel gross or tight. Overall, just not feel supported or hydrated or good. This one does a really good job just melting into the skin and just bringing life to it. I also like it because it gives the skin like a very natural, like glowy finish without it being too heavy, too much, too oily. It's just perfect. This paired with the deep sea water cream is just so fucking good. Anything from Purito that I've tried, whether it's their skincare products or their makeup products have always been fantastic. So if you are like me and you just got dry, dry skin, this is something that I think is definitely worth uh, checking out for sure. And 
and I need to make sure that the skin is primed and hydrated and all that good stuff because we have a lot of makeup to test today. And I don't want to suffer from having a foundation look like shit because my nose and my skin is super, super dry. I feel super dewy and fun and fresh and I don't look like a dry, disgusting, uncooked chicken. I mean, I still look like uncooked chicken, uh, but I don't look dry, so. <laughs> Now moving on to a bunch of shit. Today we're gonna be featuring a lot of drugstore stuff, including some of the stuff from Barbie, which I'm super excited about, the Barbie NYX collection. We have some stuff from L'Oreal, Maybelline, blah, 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 blah. So without further motherfucking ado, um, let's get some hydration also for my lips because my lips are fucking dry as well. I understand, I recognize I'm the issue here. So the first thing I wanna use is from e.l.f. This is the Squeeze Me Lip Balm. I featured most of these products in my latest haul video. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it in the corner there. Uh, you could feel free to watch me lose my shit over the Barbie collection. I regret nothing. I absolutely regret nothing from this one. Now, have I seen Barbie yet? No, I haven't had a chance to. I'm what you call one of those people that likes to go to the movies kind of when the movie is about to go on its way out, unless it's the Fast and Furious franchise and I need to see it the day of. <laughs> I can't help it. But I really want to see Barbie, but it's just, uh, the movie theater that I like going to is the one in Disney Springs, and that can be fucking intense. Intense. So I'm like, yeah, I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait a little bit until it kind of starts to die down and then go see it. I know. I'm one of those bitches. But I just don't like people. <laughs> I just don't like them. Okay, so the first thing I want to use is a primer. And today we're gonna use this new one that I picked up from Revolution. This is a skin barrier protecting primer. I have no expectation. Makeup Revolution usually has some weird fucking products. And you're ah! Ew, this is so, this is like milk. What the fuck? This is like milk. Ew, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Clean up an aisle six, holy shit, okay. It, it like, <laughs> it look, look, look. It's just unsettling, okay? I've seen a lot of movies like this. It always leaves me happy and smiling. Okay, so wait, hold on. Okay, this is, this is like milk. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? You know what? You know what? It's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's very glazy. It's giving me glazed donut, but I ain't mad at it though. I don't like how it kind of pisses out a little bit. That's kind of gross. But once you look past that though, it's fabulous. <laughs> Although, is it sticky? No, okay. I kind of almost had like a panic attack. Like, <gasps> no, we're good. <laughs> Okay, okay, I feel good about this. So the foundation, <laughs> the foundation that we're playing with today is the Maybelline Super Stay. I want to say Super Stay, Super Stay, Super Stay, twenty four hour skin tint. I, I haven't, sir. I have. I'm not drinking. I trust me. I'm not drinking. I just, I can't form words today. That's fine. This is in the shade 110, and I really like the Super Stay line, and I'm kind of hoping that, oh, that's satisfying. Okay. I'm really hoping that I like this product. I think I remember um, trying it out in the haul video, and I was a little scared because it felt really, really super drying, and I was a little terrified that I wasn't going, oh, it smells fucking weird. I don't have the best sense of smell, but when something smells weird, that means it's really strong. It smells like something I've never smelled before. <laughs> oh, it smells weird. <sighs> okay, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that, but whatever. We're just gonna we're just gonna keep on pressing it in. Thankfully, the smell dissipates, but still not pleasant though. Not pleasant. Also, again, I'm obsessed with just like massaging shit into my skin. I feel like I was so allergic to that in the past. Now I'm all about it. Now I'm like I can't get enough of this. But the fingers are always like the most perfect thing. This is where my sponge comes in handy to be able to press the product in and all that good stuff. It's kind of fucking drying. I don't like this. And you saw me. I dumped so much shit on my. Face. I made sure my skin was well prepped, bitch. What the fuck? I'm gonna just rub that in there. I don't know. It's like sitting weird on my nose. Could be a me thing. Maybe I just put on a little bit too much product. That could be it. Everywhere else looks pretty good. But when it comes to my nose, it looks very, I don't know. It's weird because I feel like everywhere else it actually doesn't look too bad. Like you definitely see some redness poking through, but it's not awful. But when it comes to my nose, it just feels really dry. And this is like a new sponge. So it's not like it has like existing product or any other bullshit on it. That's kind of weird. Huh. I'm just gonna add a little bit more product because I'm gonna see if maybe I can get a little bit more coverage. Put it on the jowls. It fucking stinks though. And you know, that was my complaint with the Super Stay concealer. I like the concealer, but it fucking smells like chemicals. It's kind of like what this smells like a little bit, I guess. Maybe, maybe this is a familiar smell. Yeah, I don't like this. <laughs> 
Um, I don't know. I feel like, you know, maybe I'm just being a baby. Uh, <laughs> and I'm being a little bit of a fucking brat because I think because I have been falling so hard in love with drugstore options, like it's not even fucking funny. Like I love CoverGirl, I love Revlon, and I just, I don't know, I was expecting a little bit more from this, but it kind of is just like, all right, it's like hanging out. It's not bad. Like it's not completely drying the rest of my face out, but on my nose though, it looks like chicken skin, which doesn't make any fucking sense. Like all I see is like these little dots everywhere. Maybe it's the primer. I don't know. It's a lot of new stuff, but so far not a little happy lamb, but we're going to make it worse because we're going to add more cream products and then we're going to put a shitload of powder on top of it because I realized everything that I have beyond this concealer is powder. So, so we're going to go in with the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. I've been wanting to try this guy out. This is in the shade blah, blah, blah. Oh, fair. Okay. Oh, that is, that is, that is, that is... That's okay, that's white. And I definitely used way too much product. So I'm just gonna try to take some of the excess over here. It doesn't look terrible. I don't know, like nothing's really making me happy. I'm being a little brat today, I don't know. It just looks kind of fucking dry right there. Like why is that? What is going on with me today? Uh, let me see, I'm just gonna just pat it out. Okay, that. <laughs> didn't do anything. Okay, so we're just gonna go in with the sponge. Maybe that might be a little bit better. Okay, that's not bad. I'm like not in love with it though. Yeah, I hate this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the foundation. One, it's starting to kind of, um, what the fuck is this? It, maybe it's the primer, but it's starting to create like these almost like dried water droplets. Huh, I gotta Google this. What the fuck? It, it has to be the primer. It has to be the primer. This is weird. I said water droplets on foundation and it's like, is your basement wet? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> is my basement wet? Okay, makeup. <laughs> it's funny, it's like like little parts of my, oh, this is also settling in to my lines. I hate this product. Also, when I pat it out with the finger, I lose fucking coverage. This, I hate this skin tint. This skin tint's not for me. It's so weird, cause it's like right over here, I have like these little dots that, the fuck is this? I must have fucked something up. It has to be me. So this is like a water primer. So hold on. First ingredients, water. It feels like it should be okay. All right, I don't want to like waste too much time. I got to do some research after this, but maybe uh, the two products just don't like each other. Yeah, now I'm getting them up here too. What the fuck is this? Ew, okay. <laughs> when I touch it, it kind of like pops a little bit. What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong, people? Oh God. This is, this is, oh, okay. Don't do that. Holy, stop it. Stop it. Okay, I have like a big student loan stress line right there. Okay, I touched my nose. How do I lose coverage right there? I hate this. <laughs> I hate this so much. I fucking, it slips and slides when you touch it, but you need to pop these fucking bubbles. Oh my God, they're multiplying. God, but every time I scrunch my face, it fucking settles into my fine line right there and I hate it. You know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna put powder on top. <laughs> I know, I know I'm gonna look fucked up. I recognize that, okay? But like, I got, I, 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 if we waste any more time here, I'm gonna turn into a fucking bubble. I, I can't. Okay, so we're gonna move on to a little bit of setting powder. It's starting to dry down in areas, but at the same time when I touch places to see if it is dried down, even though it looks dried down, it's removing coverage. So we're just going to, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna take a little bit of this infallible powder, this 24 hour fresh wear foundation, and we're just going to gently, gently put it on top of this and hope for the best. Just a very light, kind of a wispy brush. Okay, 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 okay. I'm not mad at this. I'm not mad at this. Oh, you know what? This powder is defeating the demons that are the water bubbles on my skin. That is amazing. It's going away now. I feel good about this. This powder is really, really nice. Okay, I'm, I'm, ha I'm getting my faith back. I'm getting my faith back. Don't know if I love the combination. Don't know, uh, we're gonna have to keep playing around with that, but I think this powder came into the rescue and is solving all my problems. And that makes me very, very happy. So I'm just gonna go in with the sponge and I'm just going to kind of lightly press that under the eyes because we're gonna also try to see if it works under the eyes or if it's just going to settle into fine lines and all that bullshit. Okay, I ain't mad about this. This makes me happy. I feel better now. I was really scared. Now I feel better. So let's move on to bronzer. Oh, they're coming back. Oh, I guess you can't fucking kill them. <laughs> 
okay, 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 okay. All right, all right. Maybe, maybe this is not the powder that will defeat the beast because now they're coming out. Oh, bitch, okay. <laughs> It's okay. We're going to press on. We're going to press on. So I have another thing from L'Oreal. This is the Infallible Bronzer. I have it in the shade Fair, which is a little messy. Fortunately, the one that came to me has seen better days. But ooh, oh, I like this one. This is really nice. Anyway, um, so now that I feel like I could talk. Hi, um, how are y'all? I am good. The other day, I... <laughs> Oh God, I went to um, Staples because my good friends that were in Florida that, you know, were visiting, telling me how they have TSA pre-check. I've always wanted to get TSA pre-check, but I thought you had to go to the airport. Turns out you don't have to do that. It's actually pretty simple. Some Staples locations have the ability to enroll you into TSA pre-check. So I looked at the closest one to me, which happens to be in St. Cloud, which is about like with traffic like a fucking hour from me. Um, with no traffic, it's probably like 30 minutes. But you know, Central Florida traffic just sucks balls. I was like, oh shit, like, you know, trying to figure out like when I really can't take off any time from work because it's my busy season. So I was just trying to figure out like, okay, well, when's the best time that I can go? So they had an appointment at like 540. So I'm like, all right, if I leave work at four instead of five, like we have a good shot of like getting there probably just in time. And um, oh, when I tell you, it was such a treat. <laughs> It was such a treat. Uh, first of all, if you are interested in doing it, um, I'll leave the link down below, like where you can find out if it's available in your area or whatever. And if you're interested in, um, I don't know, never having to take your shoes off again, uh, <laughs> which sounds so fucking good. Um, or the fact that you don't have to take your electronics out of your bag and you could keep liquids with you. Oh my God. I feel like it's all a fever dream, the promises. Uh, <laughs> that is TSA pre-check, but I, I'm excited. I'm tired of waiting on those long lines that just feel like an eternity. To only have to go through that stupid fucking box, to only have to get pat down aggressively and very, very close to my lady bits, okay? <laughs> Every time because of my goddamn fat folds. I just don't want to do it anymore, okay? I just want to be treated like a person. I want to go through a fucking metal detector. I want it to be like the 90s. Is that too much to ask, okay? We go to Staples. And if you don't have an appointment, they totally do walk-ins, which is great. Before I go into my story, um, what I'm going to do now is I was going to use the infallible blushes because they look so fucking good. But if you don't want to do that, I kind of want to use this NYX stuff. So this is the uh, NYX Barbie, I guess like face palette, essentially. It's very tiny but who gives a shit because look how cute this is there is a gold highlighter that i i don't know i'm gonna see if this works today i feel like it might not but we're gonna try it we have a pink blush we have a peach blush so this is what she looks like. I feel like it might be a little bit washed out, so I apologize. A part of me wants to go in with the peach, but I don't think I'm gonna go in with the peach because I wanna do a pink eye look, and I feel like that's not gonna really go all that well. So I think we're gonna just fuck it up with some pink. But the bronzer though, I know I didn't really talk too much about it. I really like this bronzer. I think this bronzer is fantastic. It's making me feel better, and it's uh, blinding the fact that I have all this like fucking droplets on my skin. <laughs> So we're gonna go in with the pink blush. We go into Staples and they're happening. Wow, that's pigmented. Okay, you know what? Maybe it's not as pigmented as I thought. It looks like it's gonna pack a punch, but according to my hand, not so much. Okay, all right, all right. Watch I put it as soon, yep, okay. put it on my face oh okay 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 fuck me i'm gonna use the same brush that i use the powder we're just gonna keep swirling okay so we go into staples and there's a little bit of a line and it there's no like sign up sheet or anything like so like you know if you have an appointment there's no way of saying like i'm checking in like you kind of just have to stand there so there are four people sitting in like random office chairs that are being sold at staples and they're all outside of this like tin box essentially i'm I'm like looking at them and I and, and like nobody's like looking up at us so I feel like weird like to like ask a question like hey like what time's your appointment because everybody's really not bothered don't want to talk to me okay fine I'll just wait for anybody to pop out so finally after like five minutes or so a woman pops out who completed her appointment the woman that was processing the TSA uh pre-check appointments and all that stuff uh, called on you know uh, some person's name 
and nobody answered to that so they called the next person so the person goes into the little hut to do their appointment so we're kind of just like standing there not really knowing what to do five minutes goes by person comes out and the woman calls on someone else so this person gets up goes into the little hut to do their appointment now we decide you know we're not gonna say anymore there are two seats open up two little office chairs we're just gonna sit in there and just wait for the other two people to get called and then it'll be our appointment you're like really close to this box so you could clearly hear what's going on in the appointment like some things are muffled but for the most part you could actually make out what the person's saying they're answering a couple of questions they have to pay for the TSA pre-check and all that stuff right so <laughs> One of the things you have to do is like take a photo. So all we hear is this lady telling this guy who's in this appointment, can you stop biting your lower lip? Stop biting your lower lip. So me and Alex are like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, I'm confused. Like, what do you, what do you? And I'm trying to think like, okay, you're taking a photo. Like, why would you go? Like, <laughs> that's not the photo to take. Like for TSA pre-check, it's not, like that's all I'm imagining. And she said it like five times. And then finally the door bursts open and he's just like, I, I gotta go. And he like runs out of the, li <laughs> the little hut. He had all these like credit cards and IDs. They flew in the air. There was five or six things on the floor. And he's just like, ah, he's like grabbing them all up. And then he just like runs. He bolts into the corner that's the bathroom. So the <laughs> TSA free track lady comes out and she's like, he couldn't wait to go to the bathroom. Like he had, he had to go. And we're like, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I like, I don't, I don't care, but like, I guess, thank you. Thank you for filling in the dots because all day I probably would have wondered why this man bolted the way that he did. Um, so I was like, oh God, like that must've been an emergency and that's horrible. So she calls on the next person. She's like, I can't wait for him. I don't know how long he's going to be. And I'm like, oh, it's that kind of emergency. Okay. Um, we've all been there. So she calls on the next person. Side note really like this blush i think it's so fucking pretty i had to um of course swirl 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 with my powder brush i'm going to go over it a little bit with the brush that i use for the bronzer but i think this is such a pretty pink blush it's not too much i love it so let's move on to the highlighter which is the gold one which i'm a little scared about because i feel like it might leave a cast but let's hope that it doesn't five minutes or so go by the man comes back that went to the bathroom and he like rips the door open and is like okay i'm back like let's finish my appointment and she's like no like you left i didn't know how long you're gonna be and like there's other people waiting like and you're a walk-in so those people have appointments like you gotta wait you gotta wait till i'm finished with the appointments now and then come back and he's like oh duh <laughs> So I'm like, oh, okay. Um, and then he like closes the door and then he sits down next to me and he's just like, oh, like, oh, just really just groaning very, very loudly. Oh, okay. Okay. This is nice. I, I feel like it's leaving maybe a baby cast, but I'm going to see if I can cover that up with blush or maybe like blend that a little bit better. But First impression wise, bitch, that's good. That's a good blush. Highlighter, what the fuck am I saying? Highlighter, alien slut, love it, love it. Okay, anyway, so he's hopping and popping next to me like, oh, can't believe this, bah. And then he, I guess his phone starts to ring and he's like frantically looking for, I don't know, his headphones or whatever the case is. So he runs back into the hut, rips the door open. He screams, my earpiece is in here. So she gives him his earpiece. When I tell you this shit looked like it was from a fucking 1985 AT&T call center. It was so big. I was like, are you, like, is this also controlling airplanes? It was like an air traffic controller situation. And it was so big, it was so big. I've never seen anything this big in my life. It was impressive, impressive. It looked like it was being held together by fucking masking tape. I don't know how old this is and the fact that it worked with a newer iPhone blowing my mind thinking about it. That's actually the more questions I had. Where the fuck did you find this thing? And how does it work with new technology? Are you an alien? I don't understand. Or you must be from another planet. This must be high tech. I, I don't get it. Like it looks so old. And he just sat there and he had the loudest conversation and was just like very, very upset that he couldn't go back to this appointment because he had to go to the bathroom, which I mean, I felt like, I mean, that really fucking sucks. Like, oof. anyway, it took everything um, not to laugh or giggle a little bit, especially when he came out with that giant fuck. <laughs> ah, it's so good. It's so good. Ah, anyway. Okay. I think when I use this with the blush brush, it looks better. Okay. So listen, if you're uncooked chicken and you were a little scared of the highlighter not working, I think it's a winner. It's a winner, baby. 
I like this. I'm really liking the Barbie shit so far. NYX I usually have a huge issue with because I'm like not a fan of their stuff, but this is looking pretty good. I'm just gonna go back over it with that powder brush because I think I flew a little too close to the sun with that blush there. At least I can easily blend this, which is great. After a couple more minutes and a couple of other people went in front of us, we finally got to our appointment. It was fine. It lasted all of five minutes. Had to answer some questions, had to take like a fun mug shot photo, which was great. Um, didn't bite my lip, so that was nice, but I had to uh, like look up so my, <laughs> my photo for TSA pre-check. I was like this. <laughs> I was like, where am I going? Like, I kind of have like a sexy mug shot. Okay. Um, so yeah. Which I mean, hey, God forbid I ever go missing. I actually was joking about this with a colleague the other day. Um, my, <laughs> my driver's license photo in Florida, I like decked out. Like I did, I put my makeup on and all that good shit. And when I tell you, um, I look like I don't have features. Okay, like I got no nose. I, all you see is just white. <laughs> You don't even see my lips. I look like just two little eyes and just a round potato. If you would take a picture of like a potato and my driver's license, you'd be like, it's a match. Like it's bad. And I always thought in the back of my head like, oh fuck, if I ever go missing, God forbid, that's the photo they're gonna use. And people are gonna try to be looking for me and they're gonna be looking for me in fields, okay? <laughs> They're gonna be looking for me in potato farms because that's where I should be because that's what my picture looks like. I missed my New York license. Oh, my New York license was so good. I had such a good photo and I held on to that photo for a long time, a long, long, long time. I refused to give it up, it was so good. So when I had to change my license to a Florida license, I thought, I'm gonna recreate, I'm gonna get that special moment back. But no, the fucking tax collect, because it's not really called a DMV here, it's called a tax collector, very fucking weird. Doesn't make sense to me, but anyway, going to that office, their cameras are awful, okay? They're fucking awful and made me look like a potato. Alex looked fine, he looked fine, but I, I look like a fucking potato. Okay, so now we're moving on to eyeshadow and we obviously have to use one of these little Barbie palettes. I really just want like a hot pink look. I'm like kind of obsessed with it and I think it's gonna tie the look all together. So initially I wanted to use this palette. Actually, you know what? We are, we're gonna use both of these palettes. So I'm going to go in with the hot pink here. I'm gonna put that all over the base and then I'm gonna put the shimmer on top of it. I just want like a super blown out pink look. That's what I want. Nothing else, no frills, just give me pink. Give me my childhood. So I put a little bit of a NARS Soft Matte Concealer because it was literally right next to me. And now I'm just gonna go in to this. Wow, okay, all right. Here, I, I was a little like, oh, you know, this is gonna take a minute because usually NYX shadows aren't super pigmented, I find, but Granted, it's been a while since I've tried anything from NYX, and this is, yeah, wow, okay. This is nice. I'm actually kind of surprised. Anyway, I think I have to wait like maybe three to five days or something like that, and then I'll know if my TSA pre-check cleared and all that stuff, and then I can go on feeling like a human being and less like cattle. It's the little things in life. There is a little bit of fallout to this guy, but nothing too wild. It's very, very easy to clean, so that's good. I'm gonna take a smaller brush and I'm gonna go into this beige shade. Basically, it looks like my skin and I'm just going to blend the edges of the pink to be a little bit more seamless. I really can't get over how vibrant this pink is. It's kind of exceeding my expectations. Okay, I'm gonna take good old faithful NYX glitter glue. I've just been obsessed with kind of doing more of these like one and done, or like maybe you just use two shadows. I feel like I used to just be so fucking complicated and I'm like, I don't, I don't wanna do that anymore. I want something that's like super easy. Maybe because it's a fucking thousand degrees outside and I know this shit's gonna melt off anyway. So I just want it to be very, very easy. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. So I'm gonna go in with this pink shade here. Oh, oh yes, this is exactly what I wanted for my little monochromatic look. It's super pink, it's super sparkly, super pretty. So that's all I want, that's it. I know, very simple. I absolutely love this. Again, we're just gonna blow out. Very, very happy. So I'm going to do this to the other side, add a little bit of liner because I don't have anything fun in the liner department. Actually, wait a second. Can I use these for liner? These are jumbo eye pencils. I think I can actually. So these are also from the Barbie collection. You have it in pink, you have it in blue. I really like this pink shade. I think it's very, very pretty. There's also like this nice blue one as well. I really just want to like have a super monochromatic for the most part. I think what I want to do is just like throw a little bit of uh, that purple 
Yeah, I'm gonna throw in a little, you know what? Actually, hold on, this is what we're gonna do. I just wanna line my eyes a little bit. So I'm gonna go into this shade, which is like a deep plum color. My top lash line. Okay, that looks really, really cute. Did cause a little bit of fallout, but I think it's because I was going in a little bit fast and loose. So I'm gonna go back into that pink in the waterline. I'm gonna take this purple from the blue palette and throw that underneath the lash line. Buff that out. Dare I wanna put a little bit of yellow in the inner corner? Do I wanna do that? Or do I wanna do this? Ooh, I'm gonna put this purple in the inner corner instead. I feel like the yellow might fuck it up. It might be weird. If I did all blue, I think that would make sense, but I don't think this one. Okay, make it a little bit more wispy. I like this though. I have to say like it's exceeding my expectations, the stuff from NYX, because I've always shied away from it because I've had such like just bad times that maybe I'm wrong. I'm going to put some mascara on, do my other eye look and then come back and we're going to finish it with a lip. I love this eyeshadow palette, both of them. They're so fun, so fucking bright, so fun obsessed okay so last thing would be the lip and there are a couple of different lip products that we have we have a couple of matte lip creams as well as a butter gloss so i'm going to probably use a matte lip cream and the butter gloss this is in the shade dream house pink and hoo -hoo. okay she is bright <laughs> i don't know <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> so this is Dreamhouse Pink. Ah. Uh, uh, okay. All right, we're gonna, try, <laughs> we're gonna try this one. This one is Perfect Day Pink. This one, I mean, I feel like my name should be Linda and I should be someone's secretary. Ah, uh, not for me, not for me. You know what? It's actually kind of growing on me a little bit. Maybe I judged it too quickly. I kind of, okay, I kind of like it. <laughs> But we're gonna try the other one, hold on. <laughs> oh, okay. I feel a little bit more comfortable with this one. I'm living my fucking Barbie girl fantasy, bitch. I love it, I love it. Okay, so we're gonna go in with, it's a Barbie party, which is the butter gloss. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, oh, okay, okay. I love it. <laughs> I am serving you garbage Barbie and I fucking love it. Okay, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Let's talk a little bit about the makeup. Starting with my skincare, this is fun. I like this, I've been using it for over a week now, enjoying the results of this. If you are a dry, dry potato, you're gonna like this. Moving on to primer, you know, inconclusive. <laughs> I don't know, I like the result of it. I thought even though it has like a weird cummy kind of a texture, still, Made the skin look really, really good. I don't know if this jives with the skin tint. That I don't know. So um, I'm gonna continue to use this, but uh, we don't know. <laughs> Moving on to the Maybelline skin tint. I don't know, man, I don't know. I wanted and expected a little bit more. I definitely think I look a lot better, but I think that's all due to the fact that I used the Infallible Powder Foundation. I think that's what saved it. I noticed that I was getting like these really weird wet spots. <laughs> skin freaked me out a little bit so i don't know if it's a combination of this with the primer i don't know um so i want to continue to play with this but i will say that i didn't like how it looked on my nose my nose looked really dry and then there's some areas where it looked dry but if you touched it just to see if it was dry it would remove coverage immediately um so yeah i don't know it's kind of weird i like that it's a nice medium coverage it is buildable that part's great smells really fucking weird didn't like that part of it but when i think about this and like the yummy skin tint from danessa myricks i really am loving the shit out of that product um there's also like summer friday skin tint that i've been really enjoying this i don't know i want to continue to use it but i'm not as impressed as um i have been with other like drugstore foundations right like when it comes to foundations i feel like revlon has just been killing it for me um but yeah i expected a little bit more from this product we're gonna keep playing with it but it's not what I thought it was gonna be. But color wise though, good match. It's just, I don't know, kind of expecting a little bit more. So kind of disappointed in that one. This powder, if it wasn't for this powder, I think I would be very, very sad. This provided excellent coverage and it took away most of the water spots. I still see a couple of them right over here, but for the ones on my forehead, they're gone. It definitely set the foundation down really, really nicely. It also is a beautiful match to my skin. I look like uncooked chicken. It's great. I am a fan of this powder and I have to say drugstore powders are so much better than all the high-end bullshit that I own. I'm really upset with myself right now. You have no idea how much fucking money I've wasted. This is gonna be in the rotation along with the uh, CoverGirl as well as the Maybelline powder. 
Those have been fantastic. But this one though, I was like, oh shit, this looks really fucking good. And also using it under the eyes, it's fucking great. Great, great, great. Forgot to talk about the concealer, that reminds me. Um, but yeah, this setting, setting the concealer with it looks awesome. Usually I feel like by now, if I wasn't liking the powder, I would see like a huge line, but I don't see anything. Like my under eye area looks pretty fucking flawless. So huge fan of this. Highly recommend checking this one out. The uh, Bear Serum Concealer, what is it? Bear with me. I love the uh, foundation skin tint from this line. So this one was a little, I don't know, like at first I was kind of like, I don't know if I really like this product. I felt like when I started like using my finger, the product wasn't really moving around. When I used it with a brush, it definitely wasn't melting into the skin. I needed that sponge to kind of push it into the skin. But I think for an under eye concealer, it's fucking good though. It, it's not settling into my fine lines. It looks very, very hydrated. It's not drying whatsoever. It looks good. Um, if this, by now, if the concealer wasn't working for me, it would just look fucking dry and dehydrated and it would settle so far into my fine lines it wouldn't be funny. Uh, but this looks really, really good. I can't wait to continue to use it. And I'm kind of mad that I waited as long as I did uh, to try it, but so far so good. Usually when it comes to like serum complexion products, if there is a very high chance of it looking like shit on my skin, this looks good. Very, very happy with this one. Uh, moving on to L'Oreal. The bronzer is so good. This is a nice uncooked chicken option. I really like the uh, big L'Oreal. I, I don't remember the name of it off the top of my head. This one. I love this bronzer so much. It's one of my favorite drugstore bronzers and I think I might I might like this one a little bit more. I don't know. I think it provides really really nice coverage. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the Kosas one in that way. Just like a nice like warmth to the skin without it looking too much. Like I'm a fan. I can't wait to kind of continue to use this and I feel like I'm going to be taking the majority of this makeup to me when I go to New York next month. I love how like lightweight and just fucking my skin feels so good and it looks so good. I'm, I'm obsessed. So love the bronzer. Can't wait to try the blushes. Kind of sad that I didn't get to try the blushes, but I'm okay about that because this NYX Barbie collection is so fucking good. I, listen, I know what I did. <laughs> when I did my haul, I was like, I don't give a shit if it's fucking going to be good or not because I was just obsessed with the fact that I got this little flip phone mirror which by the way, it's the cutest fucking thing to ever exist. So like, hello, like I love this, okay? So I didn't really give a shit if anything else was gonna be good or not. Bitch, Nick stepped up there, motherfucking pussies. I love this. So starting with a little face palette, blush, very, very pigmented but very, very easy to blend to where it looks a little bit, you know, softer, which is really, really nice. Although I do love a good 80s moment every now and again. I was very, very happy that this was softer. The highlighter, it's gold. I was a little terrified that it wasn't gonna work out for me. It's fine. I made it work well. Plus it's an alien slut highlighter. So I'm beaming for fucking days. And it's one of those highlighters that don't sit on top of the skin. There's no micro glitter. So it just really just melts beautifully to give you that I have food poisoning look. I am obsessed. I love the gold. I think it's so pretty. I can't wait to try the peach blush. That'll be the next one to try. But um, yeah, super happy about the little face palette. And then when it comes to the eyeshadows, like I tried to use as many eyeshadows as I could, uh, but I really just wanted to stay with the pinks because I'm a, I'm a pink bitch and I think these are really cute. One, they, first of all, they come with like a little butter gloss attached to it. Adorable. We love that. But even more than that, there's pigment. There's actually pigment <laughs> in these palettes and the mattes are beautiful. They're not patchy whatsoever. I didn't have any difficulty blending out the like neon pink would say this beige color. Actually, I went back and forth between like the salmon color and this beige color to lighten it up uh, towards the brow bone. I'm in absolute love with it. I use this plum shade as a liner shade, which I fucking love. And this pink, this shimmery, beautiful pink color just kind of tied into this nice monochromatic moment. I fucking love it. I use this pinky purple shade in the lower lash line. I think that looks really good. I am like low key fucking obsessed. The other thing that I used was the jumbo pencil. So I really only use the pink one in the waterline. It's okay. It's not bad. Like eh, some parts I could see it, but then some parts I could actually see my waterline poking through. So I don't think this is the best quality for those that have like really watery waterlines uh, like myself. So um, yeah, I don't know. I kind of maybe skip on this one. But overall though, I am just, I am pleasantly surprised with the eyeshadows and I fucking want to go buy more NYX shadows now. I have been like dogging them for so long because of all the shadows I've had in the past it sucked, but fuck, I'm wrong. And when I'm wrong, I admit when I'm wrong. And I owe Nyx an apology because this fucking exceeded my expectations. And then uh, of course, moving on to the lips. I love this. I love the matte lip creams. I think they're really, really pretty. I haven't had one in a while. So this is like, actually both colors are pretty fucking fun. One, my name is Linda. 
the, the other one, my name is Babs. I, <laughs> very happy. And then of course the butter gloss is fucking fantastic. The only thing was with the butter gloss, specifically like this pink color, I feel like it's kind of bleeding a little bit into the outer corners. So I feel a little paranoid, like I'm constantly like making sure it's not doing this or like just hanging out. So yeah, so that's not like super great, but like I love the color of it and I'm willing to be paranoid and touch my mouth because I look like my name is Bunny and I fucking, I fucking love this. I love this so much. This exceeded my expectations. Holy fuckaroni. I love it. I can't wait. I cannot wait now to go see the movie. I need to like wear this to go to the movies. If I only remember that I need to wear this particular look in like four weeks. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, now I want to hear from y'all. Let me know down below if you have any of the stuff that I talked about in today's video, uh, but specifically, like, let me know some of your recommendations for NYX products, like eyeshadows and shit like that, because I think I need to kind of dive into a full face of e.l.f. Oh, not e.l.f. What am I talking about? NYX. Sorry, wrong brand. Oops. <laughs> I was like, e.l.f. Oh yeah, I forgot to talk about the e.l.f. lip balm. This is really good. This is like a really good cheap lip balm that is actually very hydrating and very comfortable on the lips. And it kind of reminds me a little bit of like an incredibly less sticky version of the, the Tatcha Kisu lip mask. So just a heads up there. Maybe that's why I have e.l.f. on the brain because I'm like staring at it. Anyway. <laughs> So yeah, let me know down below um, if you have any of these products and if you're loving them and if you're hating them. And yeah, man, like drugstore is killing it lately. And it makes me happy because um, it's at a way cheaper price point than some of the shit that I have been buying. So that makes uh, me very, very happy. Again, I want to say thank you so much to Zbiotics for uh, sponsoring today's video. And uh, y'all, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button. It's free and hit the bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Instagram and threads and to my beautiful, wonderful page patrons and YouTube members, thank you so much for keeping this delicious, disgusting, filthy, trashy, really trashy, really filthy, really gross, really nasty, really disgusting. Garbage butter float. Couldn't do without you. I love your adorable little delicious faces. And I just want to gobble you all up so you live inside my belly and we can be one. Everything that I talked about in today's video will be included down below and I'll see you little Barbies later. Bye.